Hey guys, before we jump into the patch notes recap video for today, uh, my Gmail account was hacked, not the worst Gmail, was hacked, which is uh, obviously the account for my uh, YouTube. Um, so this is this video is uploaded on the new channel. Um, as of now, the videos are still up there, and this is the only message that I'm getting. Contacted Google support, uh, but they're working on a limited number of employees as is with the uh, COVID-19 situation. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get the patch notes uploaded here. If I do have to re-upload, um, or excuse me, rebuild my whole channel, I guess we'll just have to start from scratch. So for now, uh, if you could just subscribe to the new channel, uh, please, please, please. This is my livelihood and how I make my money. Uh, and I really hope I can get my channel back, but I do want to start preparing uh, for the off scenario that I can't get it back uh, and have to rebuild from scratch. Um, so be sure to please subscribe as this is a brand new channel that we're going to have to run for for right now. Um, but at least we'll get the patch notes recap video out. So here it goes. What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here bringing another Black Desert online video and today we're talking about like, taking a look at the patch notes for April 29th. We've got some new events going on and a couple of changes so let's take a look at what's going on. First up we've got Spring Fest uh, which has Hidden Surprise, Got Milk, No Train, No Gain and Special Attendance Rewards included with it. So let's jump over to that tab and take a look here. Hidden Surprise, you're going to get these uh, Matroshka pieces, excuse me if I pronounced that incredibly wrong, uh, but you get those through fishing, gathering uh, or grinding. Um, and you can exchange up to 15 of these pieces during the event period time frame. Uh, as you can see in the list right here, you turn in three of them and you're going to get 100 contribution and one of three different uh, of the dolls for these. The three types of the dolls, if you're lucky enough to get the smallest one, will give you a Kaffir stone, sharp, uh, uh, sharp shards, hard shards uh, as the final reward. You can check the item tooltip to see which one it gives you at the end. Basically, you can open them and you have a chance to get a smaller doll than the one that you open, uh, or memory fragments and cron stones, getting all the way up to um, where it says 20 uh, memory fragments, 20 cron stones, and 18 hard shards uh, as well with those along with it. So kind of an RNG thing for what you get. Um, for those individually. Aside from that, the piece can be sold for 50,000 silver in case you get to the maximum number of times uh, for it and notes that you can't get them by scooping water or shoveling sand. Got Milk event is going to combine a little bit of farming into this. You can fish up some event items, fresh fish, and you exchange them for a nutritious pellet uh, from the NPC Creo. Process that pellet with a special feed for cows or chickens to get even better feed and you can see the chart below for the recipes on that. Um, you can put the nutritious haystack or feed in a fence garden um, to use it, harvest the uh, milk, meat, and hide from your cows, or the meat and eggs from your chickens, et cetera, et cetera, from there. Uh, quantity of each product you get for harvesting a nutritious haystack will be 330% more compared to that of a special haystack, and the quantity you get for harvesting the feed will be 550% more compared to special chicken feed. So if that's your kind of thing, you've definitely got a big boost for uh, farming. Um, event notice two. No, uh, next one. No train, no gain. We've got an additional 50% and 50% uh, skill and combat XP added to your book of training uh, for skill and combat, respectively. Uh, this is going to go on until May 13th. And then the golden attendance rewards that we're going to get over the next couple weeks here. You can see Golden Dagger will be coming out tonight. Memory Fragments, Advice 20 Valks, some more artisans later, a 30 Valks. Uh, then we've got a 40 to 60 box, which is really nice. And then a Shikatu Shiny box on the final day. Uh, that's going to be running till May 13th as well. So you definitely want to log in there. You can also use weekends um, if you miss a day during the week that you'll get two logins on a weekend just like you would with the normal attendance rewards. Wacky Toshi Research event we've got. We've seen similar iterations of this before. Essentially, you're going to complete uh, Marnie Stones, and they've also been added for Kratuga, Histria, and Achman, like we've, again, seen before, Sakrea Abyssal Zone. Um, I didn't see, I don't believe there is one for Star's End, unless I missed it, but I don't actually see one listed there for that, so keep that in mind if that's your thing. Turn in these stones, and you're going to get uh, Wacky Toshi Seals, and you can then turn them in. Um, for these exchange items, Cronstone, Advice 20, 30, Destiny, and Advice 40 for 30 of them. Or at 45, turn in the maximum here. You can get an Advice of Alx 50 stack or a 40 to 60 box uh, if you want to try and take a roll and see what you get uh, from there. Personally, I'd probably just go with the locked in 50 stack myself. It'd be a nice starting off tet point um, for boss gear. Anyways, moving back over to our things, we've got the updates for Garmoth, which we saw these uh, on the Global Lab. They're actually tweaked a little bit from what the Global Lab. Uh, status was. Um, so let me read through the Garmoth changes for you here. Pattern in which Garmoth interacts with uh, sculptures when first appearing or when her HP was reduced to a certain level was removed. When Garmoth flies up during battle and begins to charge up magic, you must now hit the magic a certain number of times for it to be destroyed. If you do not disrupt Garmoth from charging up magic, Garmoth will cast a powerful magic attack. The Cactums, which appear when Garmoth cries out as she flies up in the air, will now have increased HP and more of them will now appear. 
Uh, fix the issue where Garnwith would go back immediately into the air after landing on the ground during combat. That is awesome to hear. Uh, reduce the amount of times Garmoth deals a jump attack while fighting on the ground. Added a slight standby period after Garmoth deals a powerful attack. Garmoth's HP was increased by around 10%, but DP was decreased. Um, so hopefully this will make it less annoying with uh, the flying around or landing for two seconds and then jumping right back up in the air. Class changes we see, uh, again, these have been uh, littered on the Global Labs as they continue to remove dispersed damage effects. They do list what skills uh, the dispersed damage effects are, which they hadn't been doing previously and just noting that they were removing them. Uh, but we see those for some skills across for Sork, Valkyrie, and Archer, and then they have a note about uh, removing it and continue to do that, and it's being added to tooltip as well. Item changes. Uh, this was also on Global Lab a few weeks back. Change the grade of the following four cooking items from green to blue, and the ration provided when using these items for emergency ration supply was increased from 100 to 240. The lean lizard kebabs, fragrant borscht, uh, chewy desert dumpling, and soured pickle fish. Uh, improve the recipe for Guild Sea Monsters Nadan so that you could craft 10 of it at once. We'll take a look at the Pearl Shop in just a moment. Monster changes CC status effect will now be applied normally when using attacks with this effect to any monster from Dregan's Blood Wolf settlement. Uh, a couple of quest updates here. Then we see some interface changes, um, resolved issues, you know, the usual stuff with that. Known issues, just the one I wanted to comment on. We're aware of the uh, issue where the hot time icon for normal server boosts of combat XP 100% skill 20% on weekdays and combat 200% skill 20% is not showing up in the top part of your game screen after the boost, boost, boost EXP buff event ends with May 6th. Please note that the hot time EXP boost is properly applied with this. Uh, it's just the icon not showing. The icon missing is going to be fixed on the May 13th uh, maintenance. And, of course, they apologize for the confusion. So it is being applied even if it's not popping up. Just want to make sure everybody is aware of that. Pearl Shop updates this week. It is called Artisan's Endeavor. So if you're thinking that's going to involve some artisan packages, you are correct. So we've got the Artisan Endeavor Pack 1 for 2250 pearls. It's got 50 artisan memories, an advice of Ox 20, 50 cron stones, and enhancement help kit 1 with it. Then we have the pack number 2, which is artisan memories, 100 of those. Then you get to choose uh, 5 flawless magical blackstones or 10 pure magical blackstones. Um, that is the ones that enhance the black star weapon or the ones that have guaranteed enhancement for uh, high, uh, the boss grade gear from level 13 to 15, a guaranteed enhancement with just some reduction in durability. And you also get a bonus of 40 Valks, a 100 Kron Stone package, and the Enhancement Help Kit number 2. 10 purchases per family resets on Monday. Whatever. If you want Artisans, this is a good deal. If you're not an Artisan fan, don't worry about it. There is a little bit of a nicer Artisan package that might be up your alley and does catch my eye as well, but we'll get to that in a second. Got the I, I pack. Uh, if you are interested in the Lar Arsene outfit, not my cup of tea, but maybe you're sailing like the pirate theme thing. There it is, 3,200 pearls. You'll get the Scarlet Macaw along with your choice of Lar Arsene. Uh, bonus with that, the eye patch, a sealed compass times three, 10 cold draft beer, which seems kind of just off the wall, but all right, and 10 nutritious feed uh, as well. And then to note, the Lar Arsene is not available for Archer, Shy, or Guardian. Speaking of Guardian, we've got Guardian and her friend package, which will get you the two uh, Guardian costumes that are currently out, along with the Hawk. Uh, bonus to that, a one-day Book of Old Moon, 10 nutritious feed to keep your Hawk nice and fed. Uh, we've got the Key Sleeve Premium Set for Sork on sale for 2720 Pearls. Uh, it looks like they're going to continue to just do a, as they know here, enjoy this premium outfit on sale. Also, a different outfit will be added every week and will go on sale for two weeks. It looks like they're just going to kind of cycle three different costumes as we've seen the last few weeks and offer them at a discounted rate. Side note, if you're trying to pick up Cron Stones for silver, uh, I would probably recommend you pre-order on this costume since uh, people that sell costumes are likely going to want to take advantage of that discount um, and sell them then since they'll get the same amount of silver and you're more likely to get your pre-orders filled since the people selling costumes are likely going for that one. Uh, we've got Enhanced Secret Book of Old Moon for 1250 pearls. Essentially, you're just buying the Book of Old Moon, and you're going to get 10 item collection increase scrolls uh, to go alongside with that. This is very similar to the Blessing of Commissile package we saw last week, which was the 15-day Blessing of Commissile with 10 item collection increase scrolls as well. This is available until further notice, and we've got two pack packages here. It's a Monday special, it's called. Uh, you can get 11 energy tonics, uh, and it'll come with a bonus of three extra life XP scrolls, uh, and that is for 200 pearls. Or if you're interested here, this is a nice little artisan bundle, but more importantly, you're going to get five item collection increase scrolls to go along with your 22 artisans at only 700 pearls. Um, so if you looked at getting uh, five of those per se, you'd be at about 3,500 pearls for the same amount of artisans that you'd normally get at 4,000. Uh, but you'd also have 25 item uh, collection increase scrolls. So this is fairly valuable. It's got me thinking, but uh, I don't have the many pearls at the moment. So maybe, maybe not. 
Uh, we've got a few sales on uh, some furniture sets, Vels Pirates, um, Finto Mario sailing prop set, uh, and then we've also got available until May 13th Coral Furniture set, uh, Shine White Conch prop set, Coral Shine Blue Shell prop, Coral Shine Star Shell prop set all on sale as well. So if you need those, they are on sale. Now's the time to get them, I suppose, if that is your cup of tea. So that's it for the Pearl Shop and updates for this week. Let me know what you guys think about what's going on in the comments down below or future updates that you are looking forward to. Um, what are you guys' estimates on Odalita getting released? Uh, because I know that should be right around the corner from what we've been told previously, uh, but interested what everybody's kind of thinking when that's going to land, uh, especially with a lot of the other updates that have been going, Infinite Potions and that sort of thing coming out. I'm not sure how much longer they're going to push that out, but uh, let me know what you guys do think about it if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications for when new videos do go live and if you want to catch me playing live you can check out my twitch page there's a link in the description below head on over there and drop a follow so you'll get uh, notifications through the twitch app uh, on that one i do stream five to six days a week as it is now uh, so a pretty good chance you can catch me anytime that you go on with that said that's going to be it for this video i want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time